Hi, Will here from Wells Adventures. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, my wife and I recently took a our first Virgin Voyages cruise on Scarlet Lady. It was a four-night, five-day Caribbean soiree, as they call it. It left for Miami, stopped at Key West, and Bimini Island in the Bahamas. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my personal opinion on the places and meals we had on Scarlet Lady. So let's go ahead and check it out. Before I begin, I want to share something with you regarding the app. You will have access to start making reservations on the Virgin Voyages app 45 days prior to your departure. As soon as we had access to it, we started making reservations. Unfortunately, we saw that the majority of the reservations were already taken. It was like we want we like to eat early, you know, six around there, or actually earlier, but most restaurants open at six. Uh, we couldn't make reservations because they were already taken. So we had, we ended up making reservations for later times. However, once we got on the ship, we look at the app again and we noticed that times opened up. So what happened was, let's suppose I had a reservation at Razzle Dazzle, but I want to make a reservation at the wake. If I went to the wake and tried to make a reservation for the same time as Razzle Dazzle, the app would tell me, nope, can't do it, you're double booked. So this is what we did. My wife opened her app, I opened mine. She opened it up to the Razzle Dazzle reservation. I opened it up to the availability time on the wake. I mean, she was available. She canceled the Razzle Dazzle reservation and I immediately make the wake reservation. So that's how we were able to do that. So we were able to make reservations at the places we wanted to eat, which was for dinner, which was um, uh, the wake, uh, Pink Agave, uh, Gombe, and the Test Kitchen. So we didn't do the Italian place, uh, but we went ahead with just extra virgin, but we, want, we got the ones we wanted. Also, for breakfast, if you're going to have breakfast at Razzle Dazzle or brunch at Razzle Dazzle or the wake, please make reservations. We were a little bit confused because we thought we didn't need to make reservations. And let me explain. When we went to Razzle Dazzle with no reservations for brunch, they told us, do you have reservations? We said, no. They said, unfortunately, it's sold out. However, we're waiting for a few people in a few minutes. If they don't show up, we'll give you the seats. Awesome. We waited 10 minutes. We were able to get in. By the way, if you do make a reservation and you don't use it or are not going to use it, please cancel it. That opens up the window for other people. Now, for the wake, we wanted to go to brunch, which we did. We made reservations for the wake, having experienced what we just experienced at Razzle Dazzle. We made reservations for brunch. It was available. When we went to the wake, they didn't even ask us if we had reservations for brunch. Walked us right in. We were able to have breakfast, which was great. Now, again, keep in mind that... Um, Always make reservations for your dinners. Please always do that. Unless you're going to eat at the galley. The galley has a plethora of places to eat. Also, you have the pizza place. By the way, a personal note, I'm from New York. I know pizza. I watched a lot of videos regarding pizza place and people were going crazy over pizza place. Mm. The sushi at the galley mm. could use some help. Um, so again, if you're going to get the galley, we have breakfast at the galley as well. That was okay. Um, everything on Virgin Voyages is included in the price. All the restaurants, Wi-Fi, gratuities, essential drinks like sodas, waters, and drip coffee. Specialty coffees are extra. So keep that in mind. It's all included. Also, your um, group workouts are included as well. Um, of course, alcohol beverages not included. That you will buy a, a bar tab for that. So let's check out some of the places we ate and I hope you enjoy this video. The galley. The galley is Virgin Voyages version of a buffet. But again, they don't have a buffet. They do make everything to order. There you can see there's some sandwiches and some uh, different places to eat. There's places to eat all over at the galley. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the drinks, essential drinks are included, seltzer, sodas, juices as well. So I'm just going by uh, the areas where you eat. Now what you do, uh, what you really do, you can sit down and you could uh, put up your little flag, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and someone will come over and serve you. But you can also go to the counter and get some items if you want to take it back to your room. Now, here's the only place that things are pre-made. So for breakfast, they have uh, pre-made eggs, uh, bacon, hash browns, things like that. Also, check this out. Here's an area that if you want beer or wine, for you beer and wine drinkers, you can actually serve yourself here. So they have the glasses for the wine, they have the glasses for the beer, and what you do, you um, put on your wristband, 
over on the screen and it'll charge you for it. So it's right there, you put it there and you'll be able to get it charged back to your bar tab or to the credit card on file. So if you don't wanna to go to the bar and you just want wine or beer, you can find it right here at the galley. Over here again, you have the burger bar. I, I was gonna try a burger, I didn't get to try one. They looked really, really good. This area here becomes a dessert section in the evenings and a lot of great desserts, which um, you can take part of as well. So over here you have more items. Uh, by the way, I didn't show the uh, the sushi. That's on this opposite, just opposite of this side. On the other side of the galley, there's two entrances, and that's where you can find the sushi. You scan the barcode, and you'll be able to see the menu that's available to you. If you don't uh, want to scan the barcode, they do have paper menus as well. So that's what you do. You put the tab up, and you'll be able to be served. This, this was my breakfast here. Simple breakfast: eggs, potatoes, bacon. It was pretty good. Now here, the dock. We love hanging out on the dock. The dock is on um, deck seven in the uh, back part of the ship or the aft part of the ship. And you can just hang out and they have a lot of great tapas. And I'm gonna show you them in a minute. There's the bar if you wanna you know, sell some water, if you wanna have a drink, you can have it there as well. Again, what you do, you sit down where the little menu guy is at, you um, click up the little flag and it, they'll come right over and serve you. And by the way, there's a net. I was up there and, and you can see that in my day one video. Check that out. I was laying on the net up there. It's pretty cool. So there it is. So raise for service. Click it up. Ahoy. And they come right over. Now, this is a menu that um, we didn't happen to see before, but this is some light menus, so like um, uh, watermelon, things like that. Here is the menu for the tapas of what we had uh, during what we were eating. This is the hanger steak. The hanger steak was delicious. There's the octopus. That was delicious as well. And the shrimp. Unbelievable. That was good. They had uh, polenta. That was good as well. And they also had um, chicken. The Wake. The Wake was our one of our favorite restaurants. I'm not going to tell you yet, which was my favorite, but I'm going to tell you in a minute. So we have The Wake for brunch and for dinner. Now, this is the dinner menu. They serve you rolls with some herb butter. That's really good. My wife had some bone marrow. That was delicious. I had the clam chowder. That was delicious as well. They poured for you right there. Nice and fresh, nice and hot. Uh, that's a side of asparagus. And uh, my wife had the lamb chops. And I had um, a, called a dorade fish. So this fish um, is cooked in this breading. So I actually should have asked the waiter for the breading because it looked pretty good. <laughs> so there he's cutting it open and it's actually cooked in that breading, which is pretty cool. There it is. And he serves it for you right there. It was good fish. It was it was good. Uh, the butter sauce they put on top or they gave on the side. It was a caper butter sauce, which was really good. Um, I would recommend this as well. And that's our dessert. I don't remember what that was, but dessert, and the chocolate dessert there, it was good. So the Wake was a really nice restaurant. Now this is the brunch menu for the Wake. Um, my wife had um, steak and eggs, so they put the eggs on the steak. It was really good. My wife said it was really good. I had um, soft shell crab eggs, Benedict. That was delicious. That's a dessert they serve at breakfast as well. And this is a coconut dessert we had at breakfast as well. Pink Agave, it is their version of the a Mexican restaurant. Um, that was very good. We had the guacamole, which was very good. We also had a tuna, um, the tuna side. It was delicious. I was a little hesitant to try it, but we did have it. It was really, really good. And we also had, um, as an appetizer, uh, chorizo potatoes right there. Those are the chorizo potatoes. That was really good. There's the guacamole. We actually ordered another order of the guacamole and there's the tuna the tuna was amazing um my wife oh i have the ribeye steak with the melted cheese on top that was really really good and my wife had the pork also very good so pink agave another great restaurant now razzle dazzle i heard so much about razzle dazzle we went there for brunch unfortunately i was a little disappointed that that was the avocado toast the uh, the toast itself you could barely cut through it was really hard, but it was delicious once we ate it. These are some cheese potatoes or tater tots. They were delicious. 
Um, those, those some eggs my wife orders. The chicken sandwich. I heard so much about the chicken sandwich, but I was left disappointed. Um, it was okay. It is on the naughty menu. You can order it. Um, I took off the bread and just ate it, the chicken by itself. So it was okay. So that was um, Razzle Dazzle for brunch. Gambe. Gambe is a great place to go eat. It's a lot of fun. Keep in mind, you will be seated with people you do not know. Okay, so we sat with two other couples. So there were six of us. And here she's explaining how the game is played. There's a drinking game. And you don't have to participate if you don't want to, by the way. And that's a lot of fun. Here's some of the sides of the appetizers. They serve you gambe and they serve you the food fresh. They make it for you fresh right there and they serve it for you as well. It's a really fun place to eat. It's a good place to eat. And by the way, you will get filled. There's a lot of food. Actually, uh, the gentleman you saw before, he, the steak is really good. Um, he liked it so much that he ordered some more and that was the dessert. This is um, the Sun Club. I had a poke bowl, salmon poke bowl. That was good as well. And the, uh, this is the menu at Bimini Island. Here's the Bimini Island menu. Um, Bimini Island, again, they had some items. Uh, one thing I do want to mention regarding Bimini Island, the food is sitting out for a while. So, for example, the juca fries were stale. Um, so you may want to think about that. The pork was okay. That's the, the, um, the chicken. That was okay as well. And they also have um, drinks that you can have as well. Our favorite place, the Test Kitchen. Again, we were hesitant to come here, but... It was amazing. The food was amazing. The service was amazing. Um, this is the entrance as you come in. Uh, so they give you a little sweet um, non-alcoholic drink and you drink that before you start to eat. And basically it cleans your palate because you're going to be eating some interesting things here. I, I recommend you make a reservation at the test kitchen first thing you can. Uh, first available time. So here um, the folks are getting ready to serve. They show you the kitchen area. They show you the prep area. Uh, basically, it's like a laboratory. That's why they call it the test kitchen. And um, this guy took so much pride in what he was doing. And here's where we sat. And um, the first thing they gave us was mushrooms. It was It's a mushroom mousse. It was so good. Basically, you take it and you put it on your toast that they give you on the side. There he is working on his uh, mushroom mousse again. There's a toast they serve you. And you take that. And they had little mushrooms on there as well, which was really, really good. And then you put it on, on your bread, and it was delicious. This was a 35-layer potato, and that on top is was um, bacon fat. Now, here's the creme de la creme. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Basically, this egg was cooked for five hours. It's surrounded by peas. And what you do, you take it, you mix it up, and you eat it all together. It was really good. Um, Again, it looks strange to me, but when I ate it, I was amazed. It was really, really good. So that was cool. Then we had um, the venison. The venison, that spider-looking thing on top, is chocolate. And then they pour the sauce over it, and that actually melts the chocolate. I took this in slow-mo. I had to. Actually, the waiter told me, if you're filming, take it in slow-mo. So I did. And um, that actually melted the chocolate, and that just engulfed the venison with the sauce and the chocolate, and it was absolutely delicious. Now the dessert, which you're about to see, was a, um, a blue cheese dessert. Blue cheese was actually pretty good. Very different, but it was good as well. Well, that's a quick review of some of the places we ate. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any comments, or if you've traveled on the Scarlet Lady and have some additional information you can share, that'd be great. Put it. Feel free to put it in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, let us know why. Put in the comments or send us an email. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we're going to be putting more and more content on, including the, the four days that we were on the Scarlet Lady, including um, 
disembarkation, which was really smooth, except for the Uber ride. We'll talk about that in uh, day five, I think, or disembarkation day. So again, thanks for watching. And if you want to make a reservation on Virgin Voyages or any cruise or any trip at all, feel free to reach out to us at 484-357-8216 or will at wildsadventures.com. Thanks for watching. God bless.